Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today Little Red Riding Hood is getting a toilet roll makeover. <laughs> ah, Little Red Riding Hood. How does it get any better than that? So she's going to get the makeover and I'm going to keep the love me like before. Why? Because this is a attempt at repeating a previous painting which I dropped something on and ruined it and I was really upset because I really liked it. So I'm hoping I get to love this one like I loved the one before. And in, re in response, Little Red Riding Hood gets a makeover. So what am i doing yes yes i'm doing the toilet roll pour again this time i'm going to do it the way i planned to do it originally so it's not going to be anywhere near the same and yet it's probably not going to be anywhere near different but probably will be because if any of you up there out there if you have been able to completely repeat a painting ever send me proof because I don't believe you. <laughs> this style of painting gives an original piece of art every time. There is no way to duplicate somebody else's work or even your own. So what am I doing? I am taking acrylic fine artist quality Reeves paint. Mixing it up with Floetrol and water. To get a consistency that's kind of runny. So it sits on there, but when you tilt, it runs off. Oops, that didn't do a very good job. It runs off. No, that one's gone thick. This is what happens. So guys, what happens when you mix up your paints? Let them sit for 10 minutes. And the paint particles absorb the water and they thicken. It's almost like, you know, um, flour thickens more. You know when you make pancake batter and you think, oh, that's the perfect consistency and you put, put it down and go and get the pan hot. By the time you come back, it's got too thick. Same with paint. When you first mix it up, this is just brand new being mixed. Um, so there you go. That's better consistency. Can't really see that. Sorry. Anyway. So we've got deep turquoise, we've got viridian hue green, we've got copper, we've got silver, we've got a small amount of white, not a lot, very small amount. Anyway, but that's okay. So, first things first is to add a bit of lubricant. That's it. Dimethicone, this particular type of um, Durex play, oh dear, I don't want that, um, is 100% dimethicone. So you're looking for the pink and black bottle. Um, the other ones have aloe vera and water and all sorts of, probably very good for your body stuff, but not very good for your painting. Um, so you're looking for dimethicone or silicone and just a couple of drops in roughly one to one and a half drops per 30 mil or one fluid ounce is my preferred style. Now, I'm just going to pour the paint in multiple layers. I don't have a lot of some of these colours, so I might have to fork out or stick out. And so it's not going to be the same as the last one because I don't have the same combinations of the last one. In the last one, I actually um, mixed my flip cup into a tin and then poured the tin into 
the toilet roll holder um, but this time I'm doing what I planned to do last time but forgot to do <laughs> just put it directly into the toilet roll so as you can tell this is a completely empty toilet roll and um, so I'm just having some fun adding some paint now the higher you add it from up above the more it mixes in and the more cool combinations you get. It's starting to seep out the side as the pressure builds up. Pressure is building, people. The pressure is building. So I've actually only got silicon in the green and the turquoise. Let's get the last of that in there. did buy some more I can mix some more later and I bought some more white as well you'll be pleased to know and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise the toilet roll up just ever so slightly and let it just seep out although it's doing a very good job of seeping out itself a little bit more silver. All right, the loop. Are you ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. Let's zoom it in a little bit. So you've got a full view. Hee <laughs> hee, that's pretty in there. See how it's dragging across the bottom of the toilet roll and giving those nice cool stripies oh I've got a sun coming my way and I'm gonna drag that because I like the copper no he just came for my keys he only loves me for my keys <laughs> Well, this is definitely different because last time I, I didn't drag it away and I just left it to um, what it, with whatever was inside as the centre. But I'm liking that. And I'm also noticing that my tin that it's sitting on is not straight. So it's been, it was running. So I'm going to let it run the other way maybe, hopefully. <laughs> but while we're doing that, I'm just going to pop these air bubbles and lightly warm the paint. You can already see some silicon cells coming up. And warming the paint will allow that to, more of those to come up as well. Better try not to get too close, otherwise you cook the top layer of paint and that creates weird stuff happening oh I just I just dipped the end of my torch in silver paint how does it get any better than that that's a bit silly oh he's a good boy he returned the key that's nice hello gorgeous hello you come to say hi to everybody hello everyone Yay! <laughs> and just more bubbles are rising, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it a lot. I noticed. <laughs> Bye. 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 Love you. So now I'm just going to tilt and cover this whole piece with paint and once it's completely covered I can then decide if I want to get rid of any of them if I get rid of anything I think it'll be this little spot down here because um, 
because I did get a little bit close with the torch. As you can see, as you stretch the paint, the size of the cells grows, which is kind of cool. I think my body smelt as lollies that he brought home from school and he it's decided that it would like some lollies too. Grumble, grumble, tumble. I like that drip. There we go. That's enough. And around. And around we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Here it is, just there. And then I'm just gonna pop that to there. All right. That is pretty. I really love the color combination of that turquoise and the um, Viridian hue. They're just so pretty together. And then add in some silver and some copper and some white and get yummy, yummy, yummy. It was yummy last time too. Totally different, but still yummy. So, what do you guys reckon? Do you like it? Huh? 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 I do. So whether you like it or not, not going to change whether I like it. Do you allow others to affect your point of view? Do, 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 do. Just getting this, this last little bit here didn't seem to have completely covered the edges. Now I'm happy. I'm happy and I know I clap my hands. <laughs> oh, I'm happy. I like this one. This one's really cool. Just gonna. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. What did that paint do? Yeah, look, that's what it did. Eek. Okay, so dipping your... Uh... <laughs> dipping your flamethrower in paint might not be a great idea, just saying. Let's see. That's weird. That's so funny. Okay, I might have to play with that later. Have you ever looked inside one of these? I don't think I ever had before. Interesting. Alright, let's use the big one then. When I say the big one, I mean the big one. It's huge, like it's nearly seven inches in diet across the top. Um, and honestly, I'm sort of holding it up where the camera is. So what would that be? I don't know. Um, foot and a half off the paint, and it was still popping the air bubbles. It's cool. There's some funky bits in there. All right, let me bring it up and show you. Look at this. You got these 
these little ones right down in here. Let's see if I can look at how many layers are in that tiny, tiny, tiny little. And that's about, I don't know, one and a half millimeters across. <laughs> that's so cool. And I love the way this has occurred. This is like weird. And again, there's something happening in the middle this has got some really beautiful parts in it guys really beautiful I like it like it a lot yummy yummy Wow, that's cool. Mm. All right, so there you go, guys. I'm going to let this one dry. Let me know in the comments if you can see anything fun and funky and delicious in there. Um definitely has colors of a river like the water of a river with something happening maybe it's um like a braided river but you know you've got the bits that stick out and then the river flows around them or maybe you see a face somewhere in there what do you see staring back at ye <laughs> all right guys i'll be back with this once it's dry and i promise not to drop anything in it in three two one bum, 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 bum. look at this it made it it survived i'm so happy <laughs> oh, how does a kidney bed in there so yep it has dried beautifully we have the glittering of the copper and the two tones of the um, turquoise and viridian hue we've got some silver in here although it looks white i know sorry can't change that camera ba, 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 ba. but pretty much everything that you saw when it was wet is still looking beautiful there's a couple of added textorial things that have shown up as it's dried um this little star here is actually a really pretty crack um which i think is quite funky and then over on this edge and i'm not sure what's quite created this but it's funky anyway you've got a little bit of something was in the paint so we've got a bit of a dent there but it's nice nicely sitting in a good spot it's not really affecting anything then we've got what looks like almost brush marks around here. And I think that's really quite funny because, you know, you watched it being done and it's not brush marks. But it does. It looks like brush marks. And it looks like I've painted it with a brush. It's really funny. And I just spotted we've got another pretty little star down here. Look at this. How cool is that? They're making stars for me. So... I'm very pleased with this one. This will make a very cute little clock. Um, maybe even for a bathroom. How are you guys going with your bathroom challenge? Um, so, yeah, make this into a clock. Stick it in the bathroom. Hang it on the wall. Something pretty. Something bluish. Kind of wavy looking. Woo! How does it get any better than that? <laughs> Ah, very happy with this one. Um, if you guys have been joining in our challenge on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group, then please, please, please post your photos in the event page. Um, you can find the event page when you go to the group. There's um, a whole heap of tabs, and one of them will be events, and then in that you'll find this month's event. And So just share your 
photos, videos, etc. in there of anything to do with the bathroom, what you've poured on, poured through, created magic with. So that is that one and I'm, as I say, really happy with it. Um, it does look a bit darker in the picture than it is in real life, but not too much. Um, happy, happy, happy Mickey. How does it get any better than this? What else can we create? What other magic is brewing within that we haven't chosen to play with yet? I adore you all and I will see you again super soon. So please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like buttons if you have enjoyed this video. Drop me a comment if you've got something to say. Happy to, and I always respond to all of the comments. Sometimes it takes a few days though, depends on what life is throwing in my direction. I adore you all. Have fun and what magic can you create today? Bye bye.